Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the new NKJV Interleaved Bible from Thomas Nelson. And since we haven't done a giveaway in a while, stick around to the end and I'm going to give this Bible away. Okay, I recently did an unboxing video, and this was in there, the NKJV Interleaved Bible. This is a really cool, interesting Bible. It definitely is really neat for those of you who are interested in journaling. It's basically every other page of this Bible is completely blank so that you can write your own notes. I think it was inspired, I read somewhere by a Bible, an old Bible from Jonathan Edwards that people have seen photos of where he kind of ripped the Bible up and put blank sheets of paper in there. So this one just showed up. It's a really beautiful Bible. So I'm going to walk you through it, show you all the specs and all those sorts of things. But since we haven't done a giveaway in a while, I, I probably am not going to use this Bible because I'm not a huge journaling Bible guy. So I decided I'm going to give this away to somebody. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can enter to win this awesome Bible. Let's take a look at this one. This is the NKJV Interleaved Bible from Thomas Nelson. Okay, first things first, it comes in this nice little slip case. You see that, there you go, features include, all of the features on the back, what the actual text size looks like. There's the cover, really nice. So it just kind of slips out of here. Now, this edition is a limited edition, and what's the cover called? It's called Flax Cloth Bound hardcover. So it's a hardcover Bible, but it's got this flax cloth all over. It looks really nice. And I've been told by the folks at Thomas Nelson that whenever they do the next run of this Bible, it will not be this. So this is a limited edition for the first time. There you see Holy Bible interleaved edition in KJV and the Thomas Nelson logo. It does have a couple of, well, let me see if I can pull this out here. It does have a couple of ribbons. There's a brown ribbon and a red ribbon. Nice wide ribbons. Really lovely look on the outside. I like that design or that, that flax cover on there. Very, very clean. It's kind of got a creamy paper. I'll show you that in, so in a second, but you can see that on the inside. Just very clean. It looks, as far as the journaling idea, I think it does, I think it does work for that. So the size of this Bible is at the text block. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> that looks nice. Those end pages, that's, that's really sharp. So that's the presentation page right at the beginning. Okay, we're not inside yet. Focus, Tim. The size is six and a quarter by nine and a quarter, pretty standard. And it's a little bit over, like two and an eighth inches thick when you include the cover. So it's a nice size Bible. It's pretty thick because you're gonna see it has a lot of extra paper in it. So I'm gonna open this up. Really lovely there. There's your presentation page. Um, Holy Bible. I hope you can see this. This is a really creamy paper. It's not white, it's more of a cream color. That's your title page. There you have the copyright page, NKJV Interleaved Bible Journal Edition, printed in 2021. It does have the NKJV Comfort Print typeface designed by the good folks at 2K Denmark. Now, I get the impression that the Journal Edition Interleaved might mean that there could be other editions of the Interleaved Bible. I, I can't confirm that, I don't know that, but here's a table of contents abbreviations, Dr. Philip Nation, the publisher, like a, a note there about how to use this when it comes to personal study, recording your prayers, sermon and group notes study, the, the legacy that you're leaving to other people. I mentioned that this Bible is the, the kind of tagline that Thomas Nelson has been using is the ultimate journaling Bible. And it is, it is um, inspired by a Bible that they have pictures of from John, Jonathan Edwards, where he ripped the Bible apart and rebound it with blank pages inside of it. So here you have the preface to the New King James Bible, information about the translation, all that jazz. And then you get very clean Old Testament. So text format here. Now, I'm, I'm not touching it. This Bible is staying pretty open. It's a hardcover, but I mean, it's very nice. Two column text. It has a nine point NKJV comfort print font. It does have a sewn binding. That's probably why it's gonna lay really nice like that. Um, so two column text, there's a little line here at the bottom and then you have your footnotes there at the bottom. I'm just gonna bring this up and let you see it. The paper is fairly opaque. It's 40 GSM paper. Looks good. I like the NKJV comfort print type. It's very comfortable to read. I do think that the, the nine point font reads really well. And then you get into the Bible here and you see one page here, blank page here. It's blank on the other side. So that's what the interleaved Bible is. So you're gonna get a page of the Bible and then you're gonna get a page of blank space. 
every other one going straight through the Bible. So it's like, hey, we're not just giving you wide margins. We're giving you an entire page for you to take notes. You're reading what's here. Keep moving, reading what's here, that sort of thing. And that's that's what this Bible is. It's very simple. Two-column text, nine-point font, footnotes at the bottom, and then a blank page interleaved every other page of the Bible. This is really smart that they did it this way as opposed to having the blank page um, after every one, so it's back and front like that. I really like that. Very, very consistent. The only major change you're going to get when you get to the New Testament is now the Psalms, you do get a, a kind of verse-by-verse verse poetic setting. Everywhere else, it's going to be more of a paragraph format, like here at the end of Ezekiel. Now, when we get to the New Testament, you see, boom, there is your red letter. And this is a really, I mean, it's a pretty good red letter. Let me pull this up here. I just randomly ended at the prodigal son, which is one of my favorite parables of Jesus. A very deep, warm red it looks very nice. So imagine this, that you're reading these parables about the lost sheep and the lost coin and the lost son here in Luke 15. And then you have this page, you kind of push this over and you have a place to take all your notes and to write down the things that God's speaking to you or if you're listening to a sermon, that sort of thing. Really cool version of the Bible for, for journaling. Now, at the end of this Bible, now to note, I did not write on any of these pages because I'm giving this Bible away. I'm doing a giveaway. But I have seen a couple of other people review this Bible, and they've, they've put different pens in here and showed different versions of different pens and how it looks. And it looks like it's not bleeding through at all. I think maybe like a fountain pen, you need to be careful. I always tell people, you know, find your favorite pen, pick an inconspicuous place in a Bible like this, and draw and write somewhere to make sure it's not going to bleed through too much before you just dive right in. But I think this 40 GSM paper is going to hold up pretty well for that purpose. So at the end of Revelation, you see here Revelation 22, and you get the note regarding the type and the end of the Bible. So there's not a bunch of extra features. It's just the text. It's the, the translation notes. And then it's this blank page interleaved every other page so that you can write your notes that you can journal, that you can um, think through your thoughts as you're, as you're reading Scripture. This is a great Bible. It, it's really, it looks lovely. I think it's cool that they did this limited edition here for the first run. Very, very classy, neat-looking Bible. So there you have it. That's the NKJV Interleaved Bible from Thomas Nelson. I, I really like this Bible, but I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not a huge, like, write-in-my-Bible person, and so I know I'm not going to use that. And so with that in mind, I decided I'm not going to write in this one at all. I'm going to keep it clean and brand new, and I'm going to give this Bible away. So if you'd like to win this Bible, you don't have to do anything but like, comment, and subscribe. I'm going to give this away to one of my subscribers. So click that subscribe button, like this video, and then leave a comment. You can just say, hey, I want to enter, or you can leave me a message in the comments. You can let me know what you think about this Bible. But I'm going to randomly select one person who's done all three of those things, liked, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to wait one week from when I post this video. I'm going to select a winner, and I will announce that here on YouTube. I will also announce it on Instagram and Facebook. Speaking of, if you have not found Bible Review Blog on Instagram and Facebook, we have a great time there. I post photos and questions, and we have a really great community there, so I'd love for you to check that out. And while you're here on YouTube, surf around, look at the other videos that I have. My whole goal with Bible Review Blog is to help you find a Bible that's right for you. So I do lots of unboxing videos and reviews and Bible-related content. And you can also find me on Bible Review Blog, whoops, BibleReviewBlog.com. That's my website where I do write-ups and I have lots of great photos of the Bibles that I review here on YouTube. And there's a link at the top of that page at BibleReviewBlog.com that just says Find a Bible. And if you click Find a Bible, you can search for Bibles by translation. You can search by publisher. It's a really great way to kind of search and see what's out there so that you can find a Bible that's right for you. So anyway, this is fun. Good luck on winning this Bible. Remember, like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.